x to the power n and this is the integration sign and we are going to integrate with respect to x we needed to write like this dx then it gives us x to the power n plus 1 with the power we are going to add 1 and that power we also needed to write in the denominator or on the bottom so plus c plus c is a constant here well we are doing the integration then we must to apply the constant here so this is the formula for the integration so let we apply this formula in some of the expression say if it is written there x to the power 3 if we integrate with respect to x then definitely would agree with me it gives us x to the power 3 plus 1 divided by 3 plus 1 here value of n is 3 so n plus 1 means 3 plus 1 divided by 3 plus 1 whole thing plus c we are going to write so then we can simplify with a one more line x to the power 4 divided by 4 plus c we also can write that one as a 1 by 4 x to the power 4 plus c and this is our answer so same way we can do a few more questions say if it is written there x to the power 10 integration of x to the power 10 directly you can write it say x to the power 11 10 plus 1 is 11 divided by 11 plus c1 constant is there so same same way if it is written there say x to the power negative value say minus 9 is given there dx is it is written there S similarly you can write x to the power minus 9 plus 1 this is a formula divided by minus 9 plus 1 so it gives us x to the power minus 8 divided by minus 8 plus c we also can write that expression according to the indices rule 1 by minus goes in front of it and 8 is below and x to the power 8 negative 8x to the power 8 we can write plus c this is our answer of that expression uh, so if there is a constant in front of the d by in, in in front of the x expression say 5 x to the power 3 is given so what is the integration of that part so we can isolate the constant in front of the integration part x3 dx now is the same thing because 5 as a multiplication here so 5 into x to the power 4 divided by 4 according to the rule of integration plus c so we can write it say 5 over 4 x to the power 4 plus c and that would be our answer so same thing if it is written there say with a fraction if it is written there say x to the power 3 by 5 dx so the same thing as a constant you can keep isolate like 1 by 5 then integration of x3 dx so we needed to multiply 1 by 5 then if we integrate x to the power 3 it gives us x to the power 4 divided by 4 so finally or plus c also we needed to write then finally you can write it 1 by 5 for the 20 x to the power 4 plus c and that is the answer if any expression is given there say 5 over x cube and x cube is given below dx how to integrate this we can write it by write like this 5 x to the power negative 3 dx because according to the indices rule we can write like that we need to take x cube up from here so now let me apply the integration so it would be 5 x to the power minus 3 plus 1 divided by whole progression right here minus 3 plus 1 plus c so if i go for simplification more it gives us on the top part it is 5 x to the power minus 2 but the below is minus 2 again plus c so if we wanted to simplify more we can write 5 in front of the expression then 5 by 5 by 2 x square plus c and that would be the answer of that expression so hope you understood this question let me continue for a few more examples say one expression is written there 1 by 5 x cube what is the integration of that one we can isolate 1 by 5 from here but we can write also 1 by 5 x to the power negative 3 then we can integrate of that part so let me integrate so which gives us 1 by 5 into 
x to the power minus negative 2 divided by negative 2 because we are going to apply only the integration of the integration with respect to x x we have to integrate and 1 by 5 is a constant here acting so plus c so our final answer would be minus 1 by 5 to the 10 and x square as a negative power we can write it below so 10 minus 1 by 10 x square plus c and this is our final answer so if the constant return then you can write like that way so another part of the integration say expression is given uh, with the plus sign or minus sign say 7x cube 7x to the power 6 then plus 2x to the power 4 then one below is one, or another one is given minus 5 x 5 x cube plus 2x square say if that expression if we do integrate together what is the integration of that one it's very simple so we can isolate all the terms by writing the plus and minus sign together and and we are going to in, apply the integration so x 7x to the power 7 divided by 7 definitely because it is power is we are going to add one power with the power 1 and same thing we need to divide with that expression then the next one is 2x to the power 5 divided by 5 because we are adding 1 or with the power of x then minus 5 x to the power 4 divided by 4 and the last one is 2x to the power 3 divided by 3 plus c so here we need to write only one single constant because everywhere there is a constant but if we add all the constant it makes a single constant so you can write c or plus k anything whatever you want you can write now we can cut out this 7 and 7 so x7 then you can write here plus 2x to the power 5 by 5 then minus we cannot simplify anymore from here for plus 2x cube divided by 3 plus c and this is our answer say one constant is given only say 5 how to integrate this is it possible to integrate dx there is no x expression is here so we can write the expression like this 5 we can write can i write 5 x to the power 0 because anything power 0 1 we know now we needed to apply integration here so it would be 5 x to the power 0 plus 1 divided by 0 plus 1 plus c so from here we can write 5x and 0 plus 1 is 1 if you divide then we got the same thing plus c so if there is any constant without x if there is no x then directly you can write as a 5x just write the x beside it plus c and that will be the answer so let me do one question like this say uh, the expression is given here 5 x to the power 4 minus 3 x square plus say 2x minus 7 if we integrate this what would we get from here then so we can write it 5x to the power 5 divided by 5 minus then 3x to the power 3 divided by 3 plus 2x squared divided by 2 and due to the reason of 7 even we can write here directly 7x because only the constant then there is a x beside it you need to write and the single constant we can write from here so you can cut out now so the expression see you can cut out so it would be then x to the power 5 minus x cube plus x square minus 7x plus c and that is the answer of that expression hope you understood the way we are doing the question now so let me go for a few more examples from here say if the expression is written there 3x to the power 4 3x to the power 4 then minus 15 x square plus x minus 3 if we integrate that one how we would get the integration of that one so here the separate integration actually you can write together with the plus minus sign first we need it to simplify like this 3x to the power minus 4 minus 15x to the power minus 2 then plus x is written there minus 3 dx now we are going to apply the integration on the x which gives us 3x to the power minus 3 divided by 3 because 
minus 4 plus 1 definitely it is minus three. the next one is minus 15 x to the power minus 1 divided by minus 1 because minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 then next one is x square divided by 2 because here is the power of x is 1 the last one we need to write minus 3x plus c so finally we would get from here we can cut out this 3 so it would be minus 1 by x to the power 3 it goes below according to the rule of indices because negative 3 it goes below definitely minus comes from then minus minus plus which gives us 15 by x the next one as usual you can write x square by 2 minus 3x plus c the constant of this question so hope you understood the question we did right now so i'm going to show you the one of the last question if something written with the power like this 3 root x how to integrate this one similar procedure we can write it 3 x to the power negative half we can integration now because root x means we know root x means x to the power half according to the rule of it is written here below root x so it is 1 by x to the power half then it would be x to the power minus half so i wrote the same thing here now we are going to apply the integration which is 3 x to the power minus half plus half divided by same thing on the below minus half plus half now we need to simplify it so it gives us 3 x to the power half divided divided by the same thing half so plus c then it is 6 3 to the 6 x to the power half plus c we can write it also 6 root x plus c and that is the answer of this question hope the questions we have done so far for integration basic integration you understood this is the complete working for the reverse differentiation which is called the integration so 